Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another episode. And today we're going to take a look at a dollar's worth of baseball cards. So this is uh, one of the one dollar grab bags from a, a local hobby shop up the road in Mass. Uh, had an opportunity uh, a couple weeks back now, went to a concert on a Friday evening, was running a little bit early for meeting my friends there. Uh, parking lot hadn't opened yet, and so I uh, thought I would swing by this particular hobby shop, see if they had any of these grab bags that I could put on the shelf for a rainy day. And uh, when I got home, I noticed this one is sort of ripped open already. I'm not sure if it was like that when I grabbed it, or maybe uh, you know, tossing it in the back seat, or my concert going activities of that Friday evening maybe caused some of this damage. But either way, uh, since it's already half opened, I figured let's just tear into it right now and see what we get for a buck. So I've done these a couple times now on the channel. Uh, again, for a dollar, you're obviously not going to get a mantle in here, a plain era mantle or, you know, anything of real value, but they're pretty fun for a buck. And uh, you get almost the same amount of cards that you'd get out of like the $5, you know, Fairfield repacks back in the day. So you really can't beat the price. And uh, we start off with a Jeff Conine Midsummer Classic Moments, the Marlins. Got the Johnny Cueto before he had his long locks. That must be an earlier career. Tops 206 card there. These are kind of cool. Here's a one. I don't think I actually have this for my Red Sox collection. A V-Mart, Victor Martinez um, from that Tops 206 set as well. Pretty nice uh, illustration there. Or um, I guess effect used on a photo. I don't think that's actually an illustration. Uh, here's a guy who was a... Man, if you were collected in like 2007 or so... Uh, this guy was a huge deal for like a season and a half, I feel like. Jabba Chamberlain. Um, I remember his his rookie card was pretty hot for a while there. Uh, back coming up on 15 years ago now or so. Um, so that's kind of a neat one. We'll put that up in the background just for humor's sake. Um, didn't didn't last very long, uh, you know, in, in the major leagues. Or I think he actually stuck around for a while, but his, you know, his rise to prominence was very brief. Um, here's a cool one. We got uh, Braves Gold Parallel out of Tops 206. I don't recognize that. Uh, this is Javier Vasquez. Wasn't sure on that. Um, continuing the streak of 206 cards here, we got Ibaldo Jimenez. Remember him against the uh, Red Sox in the World Series many years back. And a nice uh, Francisco Liriano, is this? Yep, Francisco Liriano with the Twins. Might toss that one in the stack I got going for my buddy Peeps. Here's a big cat, Andres Galarraga, out of SP Game Bat Edition. I have never heard of that in my life. I, I'm aware of, you know, SP and SP Game Used and other things, but I've never seen an SP Game Bat card that I recall. So that's intriguing. It's another one from that same set. This is uh, In the Swing, which is maybe either an insert or a parallel. Looks like it's an insert. Jason Giambi, pretty cool card there. Uh, here's one uh, that my buddy Eric at those back pages might like. Doc Gooden on the 85 Tops design. Uh, of course, this is a, a fan favorites, Archives fan favorites card, which is like a riff on that um, original 85. So it's a different image here. So I'm, I'm not sure that might actually be tra a travesty uh, if, if I were to ask Eric, but I think that's a pretty cool card. And then here are two absolute winners. So I've mentioned many times how the first set of baseball cards that I ever collected as a kid was 1990 Tops. So I love all things 90 Tops as a result of that. And somehow I have never before seen this amazing photograph of Willie McGee out of Archives Fan Favorites on the 90 design. That is an awesome card. Um, I would have grabbed this out of a dollar box just because of my love for the 1990 set. So as far as I'm concerned, this one card made that entire purchase worth it. And anything else I get in this stack is just gravy at this point. Um, and, you know, ditto for this one. Here's a Brooke Jacoby. Um, I had no clue these, these existed. Um, I'm going to have to look at what set these are from. Um, I haven't chased like the 1990 themed cards in recent years um, that feature modern players on the 90 release, but since these guys were around uh, and playing at the time and are in the 90 set in actuality, um, I'm a little bit more inclined to go after those. So I'm gonna have to uh, see which others are out there, but absolute home runs. 
Um, for somebody who loves a set as obscure as 90 tops, the odds of me running across those in this repack, I feel like, are pretty slim. So that's that's awesome. Uh, here's a Paul Molitor from the Blue Jays. Nice shiny foil Molitor there from Upper Deck. 3,000 hit player. And speaking of, that's so random that I just said that. Here's a Y3K insert of the great Tris Speaker. Cool photo there with the Indians. And we've got a couple of these uh, Y3K cards. Here's an Eddie Collins. And last but not least, a Honus Wagner. So really awesome. I mean, these, you just can't beat the value on these. For, for $1, uh, this is just fantastic. Here's a Tory Hunter play ball card. Another one that I'll probably send off to Peeps at some point. From the same set, Roberto Alomar. It's been a little bit controversial of late, but is a Hall of Famer. There's another Jason Giambi, second time we've seen him in this uh, grab bag or repack. Really cool catfish hunter there. I like the illustration and the cool 70s A's uniform there. That's an interesting sleeve action that he's got going on. And then there's a modern day Oakland Athletic next with Barry Zito. Oh, wow, we even got some chrome cards in here this time. We got a Vito Sharavalotti. Probably butchered that, but that's that's a tough one. Here's a Rob Tejeda. Send that off to a Phillies collecting pal at some point. And another one for peeps here, Alex Romero with the Twins. Some nice shape on these chrome cards. And a Benji DeQuinn. Don't recognize him. It's a first year Topps chrome, so I should have put my rubber gloves on before I open this. I hope I didn't just ruin the value of that. Here's some minis from that same play ball set. These are really neat. You got Barry Zito. It looks like the same image that you get on the full-size card. Tim Hudson. So you got some... Uh... And Raleigh Fingers. We got a streak of A's pitchers here. Look at that stash. Uh, Raleigh had, you know, some of the best facial hair in the history of baseball, so I'm happy to have that one. Uh, more Oakland Athletics here. Miguel Tejada. And then last but not least, Brian Giles. Cool painting on that. And then it looks like we're moving into some Fleer Ultra here. Here's a Brad Osmus with the Tigers. I like the ball in frame there right above the letter U. And of course the foil on the name is kind of neat. Bobby Abreu from the same set. Always liked this guy and uh, found him to be a little bit uh, underrated, I guess. And I like the photograph here as well. So may hang on to this one or may send that to a Phillies buddy also. Here's a Warren Morris. The Pirates don't recognize that cap and don't recognize Warren Morris. Tony Womack of the D-backs. Short-lived uh, uniform design there. Russell Brannion of the used-to-be Indians, now Guardians. Flare Ultra is just an awesome set year in and year out. Here's a Mike Lowell, um, who of course is... Uh, Pretty famous in uh, Red Sox team history now, being a World Series MVP after he moved here from Florida and was a very solid player in Boston for a number of years. And a pretty goofy photo here with the helmet in mid-flight. Mark Grace, so this is cool. And uh, I'll just set this up now. This is a teaser uh, for a pretty awesome Mark Grace card that I picked up, believe it or not. I recently paid money for a slabbed Mark Grace single, and uh, I'll have that up on the channel in the near future here, but that's a cool one in the meantime. Jeremy Burnitz, how about that photo? Love it. Got a ton of these Ultra cards here. Here's a David Justice, member of the Hall of Very Good with the Yankees, and look at the way that name just rainbow foil shines. Love it. Alex Gonzalez with the Jays. Tossing a ball there in mid-flight. Whoops, just knocked over my card stand. Sorry about that. Here's a Raul Mondesi, who I think got into some trouble as a politician in the Caribbean, maybe now, if, I, if I'm recalling that correctly. But um, he was a huge deal when he broke onto the scene uh, with the Dodgers in the 90s. I used to love collecting his stuff. So that's kind of a neat card. Marquise Grissom with the Brewers. A late career card of Marquise there. Henry Rodriguez as we wind down with just a couple cards to go. John Lieber of the Cubs. And finally, Preston Wilson sliding into home plate for the Marlins. 
So that is a wrap. Um, I think that was a very successful $1 spent. Um, I will certainly keep, you know, probably a handful of what I pulled out of this. And I got some really good trade bait and cards that I'll just toss into care packages for folks as well. So uh, very satisfied with my $1 there. I'll certainly uh, keep an eye out for more of these when I'm in the area swinging by that hobby shop. And I appreciate all of you joining me for this random grab bag grip. I will certainly be back soon with some more sports card content. And until then, uh, everybody take care and stay safe.